guys welcome to your love reading for virgo this is going to be for your october 2024 you can apply this to your sun moon rising venus signs so we are going to take a look at the person that you're separated from we're going to see if this person's going to come back towards you okay so apply this to your own unique situation switch the roles if you want like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So, Virgo, what messages do we have for, for Virgo? The person that Virgo is separated from, will this person come back towards Virgo? Will this person come back towards Virgo for October 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Okay, I'm going to pull them. I was hoping that they will fall out. <laughs> Let's see. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. eight of wands here yeah i feel like this person could be coming back around to express their feelings here towards you expressed unexpressed feelings that this person has been hiding from you here at virgo yeah let's see what else we have we have the death card here scorpio energy one of the things i'm getting here is like what ended this connection here what separated you guys is that this person was not really open and honest with their feelings and i feel like this person hid a lot of things from you here and i feel like you got sick of that here we have the death card here scorpio energy could be dealing with a strong water energy here perhaps any water sign cancer scorpio pisces we have the strength card here leo energy We also have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person never really expressed how they truly felt about you here because I feel like this person has been keeping it a secret. But this person is really, really, really very much in love with you here. Like I said, strong water energy. Water energy doesn't have to be. Just apply this to your own unique situation here. I just feel like this person definitely wants to tell you that they feel very strongly here towards you. Um, let's see. So we're going to use a separate deck to clarify. I used to do this when I started my channel. Use a separate deck to clarify. I'm going to do it again, see if you guys like it. A lot of times, you know, the double of the same energy might come up, and that could be really like a strong confirmation. We have the moon with the eight of pentacles here. Eight of wands and six of swords. Okay. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's having a hard time moving on from you. It's I feel like this person's trying to work on overcoming their fears to tell you how they truly feel here, which is that this person loves you. We have the death card and the fool, Aries energy. You know, at one point, I feel like this person wasn't really serious about a relationship here with you, but I feel like that's changing here. You know, I feel like this person's definitely willing to take a huge leap of faith with you. Yeah, the death card. Not the death card, the strength card, and the devil. Someone here is definitely like lusting over you. Someone here is finding you very, 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 very attractive here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's starting to become obsessed with you here too. The Ace of Cups, Capricorn energy with the devil card here. This person might have some sort of sexual fantasy or some sort of sexual kinkiness here uh, about this individual. We have the, uh, you know, if this person was like that, you know, I feel like some of you guys are not really into what this person is into sexually here. But, you know, with the judgment card here, yeah, this person's definitely looking for a reconciliation. Sagittarius energy, the Queen of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. This person's in love with you. They're seeing you as their wish fulfillment, you know? And I feel like this person wants you to fulfill their, fulfill their fantasies. I feel like this person wants you to make their dreams come true here. Especially when it comes to like some sort of sexual fantasy that this person has. You know, I do feel like this person's a little bit kinky here. Okay. Uh, or very, uh, let's see. What else do we have here for Virgo? What will happen if Virgo 
got back together with this person. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on for October 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Okay, so we have the, t not three of swords, three of swords, okay. And the seven of wands, all right. And we have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and also the Four Cups here. And we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Here's the thing here, Virgo. I feel like you've been so hurt by this individual. I feel like you might be blocking this person. You're not trusting that this person really truly loves you here. You know, I feel like what this person has shown you is that this person used you as a sex object here, okay? Or that you don't want to be seen as a sex object here. Like I said, I feel like this person can be very sexually kinky here, okay? And, you know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is this person could be telling you that, you know what, you know, I want to be with you. I'm not going to do that to you here, but I feel like this person's going to try here with the High Priestess. Cancer, Pisces here. You know, I, I, I do feel like this person definitely has a bit of a mysterious side here. I do feel like this person comes off as someone here who's like very polite, very calm, you know, very cool, very collected here. But this person definitely has like a, like I said, a sexual kinky side. All right. Tell me the three of swords here and the four of wands. This connection that you have with this individual here is very strong, very intense here. Could be dealing with the twin flame. Doesn't have to be. I mean, this, I mean, it just could be an indication that you have a very strong soul tie with this individual. The seven of wands here. And the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you would never really suspect it that this person is like this here. Yeah. You know, so I feel like, you know, this will surprise you or that this was very surprising to you here. You know, it just seems like, you know, this person comes off, you know, I guess, you know, normal. You know, I, I use this because I feel like no one's really truly normal. <laughs> yeah. So we have the Knight of Wands here. And the High Priestess again, Cancer Pisces, the Page of Wands here, and the Three of Wands here. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. If this person definitely has some sort of kinkiness or some sort of sexual kink or some sort of sexual fantasy here, you know, if you can't fulfill this for this person here, this person might secretly go, go behind your back and look for this elsewhere here. Perhaps that was the issue. That was the issue here that led to the separation. They love you, and I feel like this person wants you to fulfill their fantasy. Their sexual fantasies here. The Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. And also the High Priestess. You know, so I do, I do believe that this person does love you here. Look at this. We have the Lovers here and the Two of Cups. The issue is, like I said, if you're not into what this person's into sexually, I do feel like this person will hide this as a secret and do something behind your back. And, you know, I do really feel like this is what exactly happened because you couldn't fulfill this person's sexual fantasies here. This person went towards somebody else or was exploring elsewhere here to fulfill their sexual fantasies. But I do believe that this person does deeply love you here, but I do feel like this person is very sexually adventurous here, you know? But at the end of the day, you know, if you're not comfortable with doing what this person likes to do, you know, you know, that, you know, that you're in the right here. You know, you should be forced into doing something that you don't want to do, you know, and you're standing your ground here, which is really a great thing. You know, you're maintaining your boundaries here. All right. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.